What's up? I am back. In this video, I'm going to show you on how to use the choice box in JavaFX. The choice box in JavaFX is similar to a combo box in JavaFX. The difference is a choice box is a parameterized class which is used for a small list of items and the choice the combo box in JavaFX is the advanced version of the choice box. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you on how to use the choice box. So we'll create, an, we'll create a simple application that allows the user to select an item and display the item in the label. Open your IDE and let's get started. Here I am going to open my scene builder and create the scene. Let's create the design right here in the scene builder and I'm going to use the anchor pane layout as our root layout and let's resize the anchor pane because this is too big for in this tutorial so I'm going to drag a choice box drag it in the center and let's grab another node and we will use the label to display the item when we select an item in the choice box. So I'm going to rename the label to your selection. And let's make this a little bigger. All right. And drag it in the center. And this one too. I think that's it. And to function our label in the choice box, we will assign a unique ID here. Go to the code tab and assign the unique ID. So here I'm going to name the ID to choice box. And the label is selection. All right save and go here the controller and assign the controller class go here the IntelliJ and grab the package name here copy and go here paste paste that and type the class name hello controller all right, I think that's it. Oh. Okay. So we'll create the choice box. So first, before that, we will grab the controller skeleton here and copy the fxml injection copy that code close that and go back here paste the injections right here fx import the fxml class choice box and label out and enter all right so to make this initializable implement the Initial initializable. All right, and implement methods. Okay. All right. To add an item in the choice box, we will use the get items method. And first, before that, we will assign this to string because we need a string to add an item in our choice box so I'm gonna call the choice box and get items that add all you can do this method right here directly string or Java Python C 
JavaScript. All right. And let's try to run our application to see what that look like. Okay. Here. Let's see if the items Yes, and it works. So I can select Python, JavaScript, C++. So to, if we select something here, we should display the item here in the label. So to do that, we need to use the, we need to create another method here, private void, get data. And we will use this to display the selected items in our choice box. String, I'm gonna get the date selected item. String selected is equals to choice box dot get value. And selection which is our label that set text selected all right so we need to create another code right here choice box that set on action this and get data so we need to add an action event here to make this work action event event all right and that's it and let's try to run our application to see what it look like if the selected item is working all right let me select something here let's say c++ all right the selected item is working and the javascript Python Java all right so to add another item here we can I mean to use the other way of adding an items here is to add another string let's say private string data we'll use the array of strings here private uh, private string array data is equals to, and copy this code right here paste it here and data all right and let's try to run this program if it is still works That's it. Okay, so we have another feature here in our choice box. We can use we can use uh, choice box that if we want to select the first data or the last data. So to do that, choice box that get selection model select last if we want to select the last item of our choice box and let's try that all right the last item is the javascript and the javascript is selected right now if we want to select the first item we can say select that I mean first and if you want to select the next item you can select next all right and the choice box allows now also allows now 
So I want to write null here and include that in our string. So if we have if we if we if the user doesn't select an item, we can show not selected item. All right, choice box that. set converter new string string converter and that's it so if we don't have selected if we if the user doesn't select the item we can show a message something like s which is string is equals to null and the non-selected item yes right. nothing selected all right and let's try to run our application so as you can see if the user haven't selected an item yet this null object will show here the nothing selected item all right I think that's it and I hope you learned something new in this tutorial please don't forget to like subscribe comment and share and I will see you in the next video